guys welcome back so today I created this bold colorful eye look using my new lick and lash beauty playful palette it does come in this pretty light pink packaging as you can see there's a lot of information listed on the back the ingredients it's cruelty free and has a 36 month shelf life it does come with a protective covering for the shadows as well as a mirror and these are all the bold beautiful colors in this palette you guys it's 28 shadows it's a combination of mattes and shimmers and as you can see there is a really pretty gold it's kind of like a chunky shimmer as well but there's corals pinks purples greens and blues to play around with in this palette I felt like this was just such a beautiful combination of shades to mix together in a palette and I fell in love with it when I first saw it now I was a little intimidated but once I figured out what look I wanted to come up with I had a lot of fun creating this so you guys if you want to take a look at some swatches let's go ahead and do that now now as you can see as this palette swatches it is very nicely pigmented now I won't say that these shadows are extremely buttery and they just feel amazing they feel like a good quality shadow when swatching it and the colors really pop if you like to have just immediate color when you touch your lid with a shadow then this is definitely a palette that you would like now it doesn't say that it's a pressed pigment palette so i'm assuming these are definitely eyeshadows because they feel like eyeshadows to me so as you can see they are very very pigmented now with the blue and green side as you can see i did swatch each side separately so with the blue and green side these colors are just so pretty they tell a beautiful story you can create so many different looks whether you want just a monochromatic eye look or if you prefer to mix different shades like i did there's a lot of variety in this palette now as you see there isn't any browns or tans or taupes or anything like that for transition shades so Someone who's not that comfortable with color might be a little bit afraid when using this palette. But of course you guys know me and I just jumped right on in. <laughs> so I created this look today. I had a lot of fun creating this you guys. I think it came together very nicely. So let's just go ahead and jump in. Now I'm starting off this look by using the shade Tangtastic on my upper lid I'm using this as my transition shade but I'm also wanting it to be a beautiful gradient color for the purples and blues that I'm going to use as well and as you can see this color is nicely pigmented it's not super duper bright but it looks really really pretty on the upper lid now I'm going into the shade plum and using that in my crease area just blending that into that tangentastic. These names are pretty cute. <laughs> but I'm blending it into that just to kind of give me a nice blend from my crease up to my brow bone. And this shade is nicely pigmented as well. These colors are so beautiful, you guys. Really, really pretty. Now next, I'm going into the shade Tidal, which is this gorgeous blue. You guys, this might be one of the most beautiful blues that I have placed on my lid. I was really, really shocked at the pigmentation. I just tapped in there a few times, and as you can see, I'm just blending that one dip out all in throughout my crease area and my outer corner. The pigmentation is just really really nice now I was able to blend these colors together fairly easily it took me a little bit of time they didn't just blend themselves like some nice shadows do but I think that they blend it very nicely so now I'm using some of my revolution cut crease canvas as usual 
to cut this crease today and I'm doing kind of a three-quarter cut not all the way across but a good portion of my lid I'm going to go ahead and cut today now the first shade I'm going into for my cut crease is going to be for my outer corner and that is the color Bora Bora and this blue is so pretty you guys I love the variation in shades that they have in this palette because it makes it really easy to create beautifully blended looks because the colors just go so well with each other now I wanted to play around with some green so I'm going into the shade parakeet and you guys this is definitely just your basic primary green it's gorgeous it's very nicely pigmented and it blended into that blue so beautifully I love this green Now next I decided to go ahead and play around with one of the shimmers. This color is Athena and it's the beautiful bold gold shimmer shade. Now what I will say about this shadow is that it does come off a little bit chunky. At least with me using my brush it did and I don't really like that. For shimmer shades I like them to be nice and smooth. If it's going to be chunky I would prefer for it to just be an outright glitter but it's still a beautiful shade nonetheless. Now to blend the gold with the green, I decided I wanted to use a transition shimmer. So I'm going in with the color Dollar, which is a beautiful green, just satin type shadow. And I'm placing that in between that gold and that green just to create a better transition for those two colors. And I think it worked out perfectly. It made those two colors just blend into each other very nicely and it created a nice soft blend for this lid now for eyeliner of course I'm going in with my wet n wild black liquid eyeliner and I'm creating quite a bold wing today because this is a bold eye look and I am going to play around and put on some lashes also so this wing worked out very nicely for that Now I'm finishing up my complexion and I'm going to go ahead and go in with some of my Milani Black Pencil Eyeliner for my lower lash line. And I'm going back into the palette, I wanted to play around with some more of that green. I don't usually use green on my lower lash line unless I'm doing an all green eye look. So I want to switch it up a little today and bring that green down and I really really like it. I'm glad that I did. It really looks very very pretty and it pops nicely. Now I'm just adding some of that purple into my inner corner. I'm not dragging it too far out. Just wanted to add a little bit more of that on the inner portion of my lower lash line. I put on a nude lipstick along with my BFF4 lip liner from ColourPop just to keep my lips simple today with this bold look but this is it you guys I must say for first impression of this Lick and Lash palette I really don't have any complaints there was minimal fallout and the colors are very nicely pigmented just beautiful so my only complaint would be the shimmer shade that I don't like and that's just a personal preference because it's a little chunky. So I hope you enjoyed this video and like this look. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you on the next one. Toodles!